Today on the show, I've got one of my dearest friends, Hazel Thornton. Um, we've known each other like, geez, almost 20 years, <laughs> somewhere between 15 and 20 years. Um, and uh, she's an organizer as well. But her slant on it these days is all about genealogy and organizing photos. And so I'm super excited to have her on the show. A little more about Hazel is she actually, she's an author as well. So she's written a few books, some on topic and one not at all on topic. And yet it's fascinating. And um, so check out Hazel's stuff. The new book that she's working on now is a collection of her clutter flow charts. It's decision making. It's kind of um, like the, you Post them while you're organizing so that you know what the next step is. For those of you that really like to have checklists and steps for um, the process. And she is in Albuquerque along with me. So it's kind of funny. She lives one mile away, almost exactly, <laughs> which I find hilarious. Um, and now she's combining those genealogy research skills with her organizing skills and um, the book we're going to be talking about mostly today because it's very cool approach is called what's a photo without a story how to create your family like Le legacy and lately I, I feel like especially during the pandemic i got a lot of clients that were asking about downsizing and creating legacy like they finally had the time to actually do all the stuff they put off forever so i'm excited about this conversation but Everyone, please welcome Hazel Thornton. And hi, Hazel. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Miriam. <laughs> I'm excited that we're finally doing this. I know. We've had a couple of glitches and had to reschedule. And um, I'm, I'm really excited that we were able to, to pull it off and make it happen finally. So fantastic. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, you know, let's just get some of the basic questions out of the way, and then we can see where the conversation goes. But what what makes this particular book different than regular genealogy books or photo organizing books? It's a nice combo, in my opinion. Well, <laughs> yeah, I like to say that I live at the intersection of genealogy and organizing. Um, <clears throat> there aren't a lot of books about both. <laughs> and yeah. and what I what I found is that a lot of people um, want to tell their stories, but they just don't know how to go about it. Mm -hmm. And what makes this different is that a lo most photo organizing and genealogy books, or many of them, have a, a set process. You go, you know, follow this step and this step and this step, and you will get this. Route. Right. But it's not. There, there are very few people who are going to want that result. There, there's so many yeah. different goals to what you might want from your photos and your mm -hmm. and your. Uh, telling your story. And so I present it to you as, you know, what, how much effort do you want to put into it? Low effort, medium effort, high effort. And depending on your goals, you don't have to do it at your pace and, and reach your goals at your level of wherewithal. I love that. 